Brian Hamlet with NewMediaWorkshop.tv and this tutorial is about creating a Facebook fan page for your organization or your business. As everyone knows, Facebook is up to 800 million users and growing and everyone is looking for the best way to leverage the Facebook social networking platform for their organization or their business or even their personal cause. So what we're going to show you today is how to start by creating your own Facebook fan page. So the first thing you need to do is open up your web browser and go to www.facebook.com forward slash pages and if you've not logged in you'll be asked to log in once you have you'll see a page like the one you're looking front you see in front of you now and on the right hand side you're going to see a button called create page so we're going to click this option to start the process and you're going to be presented with six different options for different types of Facebook pages you can create. Now what Facebook's trying to do is find a way to categorize or tag the type of page that you are wanting to create. So you can select from these six different options that all create fan pages but create it for different purposes. For instance, option number one for local business or place, by inputting your business name and your street address, you can actually show up when an individual tries to check into your store or location. This is very similar to Foursquare's functionality where anyone with the Facebook mobile app who is in your retail store or at your location at that moment can actually check in saying they're there and what they're doing and share it with their network. You can also select an option just for any company, organization, or institution where, institution where all you need to insert is your company name. You can set up a fan page for a particular brand or a particular product. Rather than make this your business focus or organization focus, you can focus on what your offering is. You also have the option for an artist band or public figure. Now, this is great if you're an author, if you're a musician, um, if you're any kind of public figure such as a coach or a doctor or a lawyer or journalist, you can select this option to create a page specifically for you. And what's great here is it separates this page from your personal profile. So sure, you can use your personal profile to promote yourself as an author, but then everyone is connecting to your personal Facebook profile. And do you really want to have people connecting to you where they can see what your aunt and your uncle or your best friends have posted on your profile? It's much easier if you create a fan page that people can like specifically for that purpose. You also have the option for entertainment where your various choices are things like online TV shows or TV shows in general or books or concerts or venues or magazines, whatever it may be that's entertainment focused. And your last option is for a cause or a community organization or even a community itself. Uh, think of this even if it's your own local uh, residential neighborhood and you wanted your own community for your neighborhood on Facebook. Now what we're going to do is select the option for company, organization, or institution so that we can make it simple for this tutorial. We need to select a category and we've got various categories to select from. We're going to select internet and software. We're going to use the name of our fictitious company that we use for all our tutorials called My Biz Apps. And if you need to read the Facebook page's terms of use, please do so before you check the box for I agree and then click on get started. Now at this point, Facebook is going to create the page for you. And once you've seen this welcome screen, your Facebook, your Facebook fan page is essentially ready to go. Now there's a few things they try to guide you to do to help get your new Facebook page going. And one of the first things you may want to do is to upload an image that's going to be the visual representation of your Facebook page. And that's where these question marks are. So this is what people are going to see to visually recognize your page. So in our case, we're going to upload an image and grab an image actually from our computer. And we've created a demo one just for this tutorial. Or you can actually import a photo that's already on your website. Sometimes that'll work. However, we'll give you the warning that if your logo for your website was built specifically for the background that's sitting on and it uses different colors or patterns or styles, it may not look as good on your Facebook fan page. You may want to create one or have one created specifically for this page so it stands out because you will see that it is on a white background. So you want to make sure there's nothing odd there with the image that you uploaded. Now, once you've done that, 
step number two, you can actually invite friends that you are already connected to. So if I wanted to invite any of my friends that are a part of my network, I can select their names in the list here, click on submit, and then have the option to drop them a personal message to invite them to become friends on my new page. Now I can also import my contacts list from any of my online email service, or you can even use the option for other email service or other tools. Now what this is, is the other email service is gonna walk you through what you're trying to attach or import into Facebook for your contacts. So that can be different based on what you're using. Other tools would actually be to create a contact file. Uh, most of you will know this as a comma separated or CSV file of all the contacts that you may have. So if you have a customer list, and you've got it in a database that you can export, let's say into an Excel spreadsheet or directly into a comma a separated value uh, list, then you can actually import that file that would then import all of them into Facebook and allow you to send them an invite to connect. Now, if they're not already a person who's got a Facebook account, it'll send them an invitation to create a Facebook account. If they do have a Facebook account and the email address that you have specifically is attached to their Facebook account, they can just directly link to and like and become a fan of your page. Now, once you've completed that step, you can actually go ahead and post your first status update. In this case, it very much could be, hello, Facebook community. This is our new page. Now you can say anything that you want to at this point. Essentially what Facebook's trying to get you to do is to start interacting with your Facebook page. The last thing you wanna do is create a Facebook fan page, try to get everyone attached to it, and then not post anything on your Facebook page that may be valuable to your fan base. Now we're gonna talk in a future tutorial about how you can really leverage the Facebook platform and what type of contents do you need to post, what gets the most engagement, what are ways that you can get people that are fans of your Facebook page over to your website, but at this point in time, we're not gonna do that. Now, once you've got your Facebook page fully created, and at this point, this is what we have created, you may wanna go back and edit some of the options specifically for your page. So on the right-hand side, I can click this Edit Page icon. And one very important thing to note is underneath the Age Restriction section, or beside the Age Restriction section, you've got the ability to be age-specific with who can access your fan page. This is a very important note. If you select anything other than the anyone 13 and plus, then you will require people to have to log in to view your web page or your Facebook fan page, which means if anyone was searching for this and was not logged into Facebook and went directly to the URL for your fan page, they would not see it until they log in. This is something you may want to consider. If it's something that is alcohol related or something that requires a certain age, uh, range before you want them to view what you have, you can set that option. By default, it goes to anyone. That's something very important that you're gonna to wanna to decide how you want it for your website. Now you can set for country restrictions if you wanna restrict yourself to the United States. This could be important if you are a geographically located and servicing business and you just wanna define it to your specific country of operation. It doesn't go all the way down to state, county, or city, but it does go to country. Now you can also set what tab or what do you want to show on your wall tab when people come and like your page. Is it all posts, meaning posts that you have written, as well as fans have posted to your page, or do you only want to show the post that you have posted to your wall? And this could be important because you're either allowing other people to post things that can be seen by everyone, or you're only gonna control for yourself what posts are shown on your wall that are posted by yourself. You can also set what the default landing tab is. Now we're gonna get into how to create custom tabs, how to create welcome tabs, how to create uh, video tabs in future tutorials, but at this point in time, just looking at the default options, you can either have people go directly to your wall whenever they come to your Facebook fan page, 
You can have them go to your info tab, which is all the information about your organization or yourself or your particular cause, depending on what type of page you created. You can show your friend activity, everyone who has liked your page and everyone you are connected to via the page shown first, or you can go directly to your photos. And where this might be good going to your photos is if you are a photographer and what you're really trying to get people to do who like your fan page is see your photography work or anything that is visually based. You may want to select that option. Now you've also got the ability to control who can post to your fan page. Can people write or post content on the wall? Can they add photos and videos? Can they add tags? to photos that you have posted as your fan page. So that way they are linking to you. Those are options that you will want to decide for yourself and your own purposes. The option here underneath the moderation block, uh, block list, and this is something that you're going to want to kind of read about, these are specific keywords that are blacklisted or things that you do not want to show up on your wall. So if anyone is using anything that is kind of spammy, or uh, you really don't have to worry as much about profanity because Facebook already has built into it the ability to block profanity. But if there's any other keywords or phrase you want to make sure never appear on your wall, you can insert that in the comma separated list. You see, here's the profanity block, li uh, block list option. And at the drop down, you can decide how much you want that. Now, by default, it is set for none, so it's not going to block anything. Do recommend that you turn that on strong if that's something you're concerned with and want to make sure that it does not appear on your page. And once you've completed this, click on Save Changes and the initial setup for your page is complete. You've got a lot of other options over here of things that you can change and things that you can play with. We're not going to go through that on this tutorial. This tutorial is just about creating your page to begin with. So we're going to click on the View Page button. And now we are back to our Facebook fan page. Now the last thing we want to point out is your fan page is publicly accessible right now via this URL that you're going to see up here in the address bar. Facebook forward slash pages forward slash the name of your page and then another forward slash with a long number. Now that's not exactly easy to copy paste and send to people and it's not very attractive but this is what Facebook will give you by default. The only way that you can change that, let's say we wanted to get it changed to facebook.com forward slash mybizappsnet. The only way to do that is you need 25 fans before Facebook will allow you to create your own custom URL. So you need to get out there, get your customers liking your page, get your friends, family liking the page, hit that 25 mark, and you can actually get your page its own fancy URL. Now, if you got any questions or have any trouble setting up your Facebook fan page, post a comment below. And this is another tutorial by NewMediaWorkshop.tv.